Good evening, and welcome to the Mindless Trivia Variety Hour. And now here are your hosts, Jordan Bullback and Heather Clatt. Welcome to the show, everybody. And today we start off with our fake news segment. A man who is tempted to walk around the world has just drowned today on his first part of his journey, which would have taken him from Los Angeles to Hawaii. The man who last year shot and killed 12 jury members who convicted of murder is going on trial today. The court, has, the court has said that the jury selection will take some time. Yesterday, a man barricaded himself inside his own home. However, he is not armed, isn't saying anything, and no one is paying attention. In the topic of health and medicine, the FDA has just announced that saliva causes stomach cancer. However, it is only when swallowed in small amounts over a long period of time. Scientists have just discovered a disease that has no symptoms. The disease is currently impossible to detect, and there's no known cure. Fortunately, no case of someone with this disease has ever been reported. A pharmaceutical company was just was about to release a drug that can cure apathy. Unfortunately, the drug was taken off the market due to lack of interest from patients. And now we move to the Darwin Awards. Our first award goes to a 50-year-old man who was bird hunting with his dog while taking a break. The dog found a deer leg bone and the man angrily tried to grab it from the dog. He became so determined to take the bone that he grabbed his loaded shotgun by the muzzle and wheeled it against the dog like a club. Suddenly the club fell to the ground and sh fired shooting the man in the abdomen. He was airlifted to a nearby hospital where he died from his injuries, but was conscious enough long enough, long enough to confirm his count to the police. A man from Kiev, Ukraine tried a new fishing technique by connecting cables from his home, his house power supply and connecting the end of it to the lake he was fishing in. The electric shock in the water instantly killed the fish. The man then went into the water himself to collect his catch, unaware that he forgot to remove the electric cables, and suffered the same fate as the fish. It was in an ironic twist, the man was fishing for a morning meal to commemorate the first anniversary of his mother-in-law's death. Well, we have to take a quick break, commercial break. Please stay tuned after these messages. At the University of Toledo, you'll love the small classes and personal attention. Great job on the paper. Thanks. Choose from more than 140 degrees, from the sciences to the arts. Plus, UT offers exciting career opportunities. Cool, I just got that internship. And our campus is amazing. See you at the game. You know, UT fans are pretty awesome too. See you at the game and see you at the University of Toledo. Welcome back everybody, and now we're now bring you new rules with Josh Siebenauer. Thank you, Heather. And my first new rule is that there must now be a worldwide ban on flip-flops for the months October through March. These abominations are so universal, it won't surprise me if on Christmas I'll see my neighbor wearing them while shoveling snow and getting frostbite. Another new rule, women can have lower back tattoos, but they can't be those random Chinese characters which nobody knows the meaning of. Having a tattoo of some other culture doesn't make you spiritual. The last time you did anything spiritual, you thank God you weren't pregnant. And the final new rule, it's not a fraternity if you can't get drunk. UC Berkeley has just banned alcohol from frat parties, which is like bla banning black people from, from Soul Train. You can't make frat guys sober, because then we'll see that all they're streaking, fanny paddling, and teabagging for what it really is. Delta Kappa gay. Well, that's all for today for new rules. Back to you, Jordan. Thanks, Josh. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Have a great weekend, and we will see you next week.